Do you want to be that guy walking on the beach, sun shining, you got your glasses on, your top off on that, my chest popping, shoulders, arms, abs popping, and the ladies put their glasses down, say, yo, who is that bab over there? Who is that sexy dude over there? I want to feel the muscles. I want to evolve, I, I want to evolve that, that oil on his body. Do you understand? To get me, to get me horny. <laughs> then look no further, man. I got a perfect solution for you. The ultimate muscle building guide in five easy steps. If you, bro, follow these five easy steps over a period of time, if you put that, put that work in uh, every single day, then trust me, you're going to build that, you're going to build the same amount of muscle just in time for summer and all year round as well, man. Just stand. So make sure to watch this audio to the end and make sure to stay tuned for the, for the, 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 the way you could, the, 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 the fifth step because a lot of people, a lot of people, they get involved, man. It's such an easy thing to do. It requires little to no effort. Make sure to stick around all the way to the end, man. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's the Fitness. Yes, sir. Boom. Now, before I get started, pay the algorithm for all the people out there, the one that build that insane, they want to get jacked in 2024. Smash that like button, hit that vet subscribe button, comment down below if you have uh, any questions and uh, let me know what video you want to see next. Just now, let's get into the let's uh, get uh, in, uh, into the video. So, quick credentials, man. I've been uh, training for the last six years consistently. Just now, I've been physically active all year, all, all my life, really. And uh, I've been also vegan uh, over five years, just done. No, but don't worry, no protein deficiency, no uh, lack of nutrients, just done. No lack of vitamin B B12, D3, just done. And look at this specimen, look at this specimen of physique, no flex. I'm, show, I'm showing you that if I can do it, you can do it as well, man, just done. So let's break it down, man. So the first thing you need to do is strength training. So strength training basically is a lifting weight, but that's the quickest way you can build muscle. Yes, done. Crossfitting is great. Uh, can I say it's great, but the fastest way you can build muscle is lifting weights and that. And what you want to focus on, bro, is doing the compound movements. Yes, that basically means activating multiple muscle groups at once. So that is your squats, your deadlifts, your pull-ups, your dips. All these movements right here, they are compound movements and that. Yes, done. And you're not only you're not only gonna build muscle, you're gonna you're gonna burn you're gonna burn fat. Just done. And you get all it's all it's all in one. It's an all in one treat, really. Just done. So you need to start incorporating strength into your routine. Just and either the the um the uh, people what I recommend what I personally do is PPL, which is push pull legs. Just done. So one day I do legs and core. Uh, the next day I do um what you call it um chest straps and shoulders for pushing. And when it comes to the pulling, I do back and biceps. That's what I, and then, then I repeat it again. And I've done every muscle group twice. So I get the, the volume. I get the, the volume in there. Just then. The stress that's needed to build new muscle. That's what I've been doing that for a long for years now. I've been doing this. Uh, doing this that's my favorite sprint. Personally, for me, it's better than doing uh, every day. Just doing a focus on chest, chest, shoulder. But for the end of the week, you only work your muscle group once. You've already done it once. You're not going to get back to your legs all the way to the next week. So you've already worked legs once. And that's, that is stopping you. That's a mistake you're making to, um, to, to uh, build muscle. Just then. When you do that, you'll burn muscle. Uh, you'll, you will build muscle a lot, a lot faster. Trust me. So it's strength training. So make sure it's in your routine. And at least twice, twice a week for every compound movement I just mentioned. Twice a week. The next, step number two is progressive overload. You have to progressively get better. If you don't progressively get better, then guess what's gonna happen? You're not you're not making no progress because it, because pressure creates diamonds. Without pressure, there's no diamond. So if you're not putting enough stress, you're not putting enough stress onto your onto your muscles, it's not going to grow. You get it? So you have to get out of your comfort zone. So I see too many people go to the gym, lifting lifting feather weights, man. The, the lifting weights that you can do in your sleep. How how are you supposed to how, how are you supposed to build muscle? What you're doing, what you can do in your sleep now, curls, you say you're doing this, or you're doing squatting, up down, you're doing hundred reps. What are you doing? <laughs> you're not going to build no, you're not going to build no muscle that way. It's not no stress, not no stress at all. So you have to, whether you're uh, whether you uh, break that new PR, go heavier weight. It doesn't matter if it's difficult, you cannot do it. You have to, you have to push yourself to do it. 
just only you earning up. For example, you're doing bench press, you're pushing yourself um, halfway, you can't do it, you at least tried to break the barrier also to, to get out your comfort zone. Just done. Whether it's a hard exercise, whether it's weights, that is what you need to do. And all exercises, you have to continue to keep progressing. That's why, for me, like, whether I'm pushing or pulling legs, every set I'm increasing the weight, increasing the weight, increasing the weight. Just that, the more, more stress on the muscle. If it's not enough, applying enough stress on the muscle, it's not going to happen. You're not going to build muscle, especially if you've been training for a while. It's harder to build muscle. So you have to put the same amount of stress on there. Just that you've got to be in game amount of pain, not to the point you get injured, no. Game amount of pain for you to get out of your comfort zone, to put enough stress on the muscle to go bigger, to go bigger. That's how it works. So progressive or progressively get it better. There's a lot of people making that mistakes. You understand? You better to be one of those people that in the, the gym and that, all they're doing, they don't care about the workout. They'll come here to socialize, to uh, talk endlessly for half an hour. They, they just do one set and for, for, talk for three minutes before they get to the next set. Oh, shit, I've got to do my, no, do my set. And that's why a lot of people don't go to the gym. The gym that I go to, a lot of people are out of shape. And I say, anyone I, I, I can say, okay, this physique, yo, I'm impressed with it, you know? Like, it looks really good in that. No, not really. At all, man. Very little, little, very, very, very few that actually got a decent physique. You understand? So you be better not be one of those people that is in the gym and that talk, talk, talk endlessly, socialize. You need to be locked in, put your earphones in, locked in, and put all your time, energy, your blood, sweat, and tears into putting that serious work in. Like this, not tomorrow. That's what you got to do, man. You understand? Otherwise, you are playing yourself and you're playing the game. So you play the game, you are playing yourself. You get it? So that's number two. Number three is nutrition. Bow. So, your nutrition is, you can, well, you can be in a gym for two hours. <laughs> Every single day, yeah. If your nutrition is whack, is shit, you eat shit, you can look like shit. It's simple as that. If you look, you put like, yo, I put all this time and energy into the gym and that, and somebody looks exactly like the same. Yeah, it's of course going to look the same. Because you, you haven't put the nutrition in your body that's going to repair it. For your muscles to repair, to go bigger and stronger. Do you understand? So you need to eat a healthy, well-balanced diet. So avoid, avoid the junk food, processed food, sugary snacks. Do you understand? Alcohol, all that, get rid of that. That's garbage. Do you understand? That's not food. That's fake food. Do you understand? My mate, don't ever touch that in your life. Don't even think about it. What you need to eat is whole foods. I've been whole, eating whole food for over five years and that. Boom. Great results. Consistently over a period of time. Not hit and miss going up and down, no. Consistently over a period of time and then boom. My, my, over time, my physique is getting better and better. So you need to eat whole foods. So what, what's your whole foods if you don't know? For the people at the back. It's fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, grains. That is what you need to be eating. That, that, forget about your creatine or protein powder. Forget about all man made stuff on that. Just that. that. If you go to nature, do you see a protein powder down there? Do you see creatine down there? You know, what do the tallest and strongest and oldest animals eat? What do they eat? Do they, eat, do they consume a protein powder or creatine? Is that that nature? I, I can't see no. I can't see no uh, where you could protein powder and creatine in nature. So why, 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 why are you having it? Of course, don't get me wrong, it helps you with your performance and improve your physique. But that's not N or B or the key. Most of the time, you focus on your time and energy is eating whole foods. That's what you need to be doing. Do you understand? You get all your protein, your healthy fat, your carbs, everything from whole food. Do you understand? The other shit is just extra stuff. Do you understand? Which you don't need. So, nutrition, eat healthy, your balanced diet. So, all of you I just mentioned, go and get those and that. Your protein sources, your carbs, your fat sources. Do you understand? That's what you need to do. Nutri that, that is your nutrition. Eat a healthy and balanced diet because it's 80%. 80, uh, the, your body, uh, your body gets created in the, made in the kitchen, not uh, not in the gym. But in, in the gym, you're tearing down your muscle fibers. That's what you're doing. In the gym, you're tearing down your muscle fibers. Do you understand? So that's number three. You get a point that one. Bow four is is uh, what you call a rest and recovery. You can have the best diet in the world. You can uh, be in the gym for two hours, bro. You can uh, where you can eat, have the best diet, uh, the best workout in the world, bro. Hey, <laughs> if you, if I'm telling you right now, if you do not invest in recover properly, it's all for nothing. You waste your time, your energy, and your money. You have to, uh, you have to recover your body. 
that's when it grows, not in the gym. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> wake up. You have to do that work in the in the way you call it by sleeping. Yes, by doing nothing, sleep. Close your eyes, sleeping. Jibble come out here, side of your mouth. Yeah, that's great. That's what you need to do. You understand? Seven to eight hours every single day. Biologically, scientifically, the science can prove it as well that for you to for your body to recover for your mental health, physical health, you have to sleep. Prioritize your sleep. So what you have to do is first of all, because sleeping, sleep at the same time. Try your very best, even though you're busy, you got a lot of things going on. Just done. You have to make sure that you prioritize and wake or get up at the same time and go back to sleep at the same time. And the next one is all recovery. Like I see a lot of people in the gym, they don't they don't stretch out. You have to stretch out at the, before, after your workout. You have to stretch out to reduce muscle soreness, tension. You understand? Because when, when your muscles are contracted, you understand? When your muscles are contracted, yeah? Well, well, obviously, because that, that happens when you're working out. Yeah, when your muscles are contracted, yeah? That's normally going to happen. But when you need to expand it for you to relax the muscle, you need to stretch it out. Uh, stretch out your full body at the end of your workout. Your full body, you know? And that's going to help you recover as well. You understand? And over time, uh, over time, you are going to, um, you know, you call it your physique, physique is not going to improve. You understand? And you're not, and uh, what you call it, you're not going to get, um, what you call it, you're not going to get injured. The highest chance you to get injured is, uh, is limit, is uh, little. You understand? So, vest and recover, prioritize a big time, and I just, otherwise you're wasting your time and energy for your workouts and your diets. Just wasting your time. And the last one that you all be waiting for is, well, a lot of people don't do. That's why you don't see no progress. That's why you see look at, at you look at the mirror. You look like shit. Just that. Let's be. Let's keep a. Let's keep a book. <laughs> you look like shit. Just that. Why is that? You know why you look like shit? Because you are not consistent with your training, with your diet. Just that. That's why. You, that's why you're still exactly the same position. You made little to no progress. You get it. You have to be consistent because you are what you do and believe in every single day. Habits is your habits create your reality. So if you got habit eating healthy and working out, you've got to keep doing it over and over again. Over and over. It's non-negotiable. Over and over again. Repetition, repetition, repetitions, and then you see your body changes. And you build you, and you build a fit and strong body. That is how it works. Yes, that is how, how it works. It's everything. You won't be successful for anything. In any field, whether it's the relationship or business, you have to be consistent. How, how is it going to compound interest to get the big goal? It's not going to happen. Look at all the sets of people that you look up to see on TV. Actors, celebrities, rappers. What do you got in common? They consistently put out a body of work. Yes, I mean a rapper. But this put, put out a body of work to... Uh, we're going to take it to, uh, to what? Uh, you see him put it out there and then he, he, uh, he will make sales through his uh, singles, albums, boom. That's how it works. Repetition, repetition, repetitions. You understand? You cannot be, uh, achieve something of, of importance without being consistent. It's a delusion. You understand? Everything that you see, houses, technology, all got built over consistency. Bring, bring all the components together and you create a house, a, a mobile phone, everything that you see in the physical way with these two eyes. That's how it works. So start being consistent, man. Otherwise, don't, don't complain. Don't be a... Don't be a um, don't be, uh, don't be uh, what you call it, a little boy about it. Be consistent, do the work and that, and you get the results. It's that simple, bro. So, boom. Pow. That's the ultimate muscle building guide to, uh, what you call it, to uh, in five easy steps. And if this over a period of time, consistently, then definitely you are going to get jacked and that you can be very happy with your physique and when you look at that mirror, man. So make sure to, uh, that's the end of the video, make sure to smash that like button, hit that red subscribe button, comment down below, let me know if you've got any questions, just that need help you, you build a muscle, losing weight, getting shredded, anything with self-improvement, please let me know, I'm here to help you become the greatest version of yourself or not. Like the video, hit that red subscribe button, and I, and I appreciate you for watching the video all the way to the end, and I'll see you in my next video. Let's go. Boop, boop.